Darren the Magic Ghostbuster here. Now, recently celebrated my birthday, which means loads of new cool Ghostbusters stuff. So this video is just showing off the Ghostbusters stuff that I've got. So first up is this uh, box of Slimer Goo Candy from Australia. And it is a sealed box. It's going to stay that way. Um, I don't know how many is actually in the box, but it's Squeeze Candy. Um, and it says Slimer Goo. So there's a little close-up for you there. I have a picture of Slimer and Stay Puffed on there so yeah very cool and it does say the flavors on top so you've got blue raspberry strawberry and green apple flavors and uh, they're extra sour so they are staying sealed um maybe one day i'll try and track down just the loose one just to try out uh, and then i've got this new mug uh this is a uh, got some this is uh from forbidden planet it's got some frozen empire imagery on there so there's that, so that's from Forbidden Planet. And another thing I got that was uh, from Forbidden Planet was one of these Razor Cult travel card holders. Um, I've already got one of these. I had done a video on the travel card holders when I first got those, because I also did uh, one of the Proton Pack on and one of the Z More Industries um, card. Uh, but I wanted some more of these, because I've kept those sealed. In fact, I think they are behind me. There they are. So I kept those sealed. I wanted some more because uh, I use cards, uh, wallets like these for carrying cards around that I use in card tricks. So, um, and then another thing uh, which I got from Forbidden Planet actually is one of their art prints, uh, which is of the uh, new Frozen Empire poster. So not much more I can say about that. I'm sure you all know that poster by now. And then I've got these um, Department 56 figures. Um, so Department 56, uh, I do Christmas Villages. I've got a couple of those for Christmas. Actually, I've got Stay Puft and Slimer. There's lots of others to get. There's, um, I need the other two figures. I need X01, um, the Firehouse, the Library. Uh, and they're bringing some new stuff out, like Terror Dog Dana. Uh, one of the Ghostbusters put in the Trapping and Containment Unit. So, um, yeah, slowly building that up. So we've got uh, Ray and Winston here. I will be doing a separate video on these and maybe some of the other stuff, like openings up and checking them out. For today, it's just really showing off these bits. Um, this isn't Ghostbusters, but I love Cobra Kai. And uh, one of my favourite characters in Cobra Kai was Chosen uh, from the latest series. And yeah, got a figure of him. So he stands there guarding the collection. Once Cobra Kai finishes, I know they've talked about um, doing spin-offs. They must do a spin-off of him. Can you, have you ever seen the film Taken? Uh, imagine Taken, but with Chosen. I'll just watch that all the time. Um, so, yeah, not Ghostbusters, but um, one other thing I got was this watch. So there's that. And then, yeah, so let's, let's get back to Ghostbusters merch. I'll put that back in the box probably later. Uh, so this... Um, vintage uh, like drawstring bag uh, this was a company um, called bags of character uh, I've got several things by these now I've got uh, I'm trying to think what I've got now I think I've got a backpack I've got a bum bag belt I've got a few things by these a wallet um, but most of their imagery I think their imagery is always the same or very similar um, it's, it's certainly different similar style I think they all come in similar colours, I'm trying to remember now, um, without looking at it all, I'm sure they're all red with the pictures on, but yeah, all from Ghostbusters 2, um, yeah, so some cool images there. Um, Vigo there reminds me of someone, not Vigo, but I'm trying to think who he reminds me of, I can't think. And now I've got this t-shirt, which is a 25th anniversary t-shirt, so that's, 20, that's 15 years ago, which just blows my mind. Uh, this was by uh, French Connection UK, funnily enough. And I don't remember, the, remember this coming out at the time, so something I missed out on. But yeah, very cool t-shirt. I will wear it, uh, but probably not a lot. I, um, I have a few white t-shirts, so I just always worry about them getting stained. Um, so I don't don't wear them too often, my white t-shirts. Um, I've got one of these. Um, I did a video on this a while back. Um, this is the Chase version. So uh, the video I did was on the regular version. This is the Chase, which was uh, the Chase burnt version. And then got this. The card's a bit fragile. Um, 
so I've got one of these of the Revenge of Murray the Mantis. Um, so I did six book, uh, sorry, eight books in total. I don't know how many of them come on the card with the tape. I don't know if all eight did. Um, can't actually remember, but I've got Revenge of the Murray the Mantis now. I have drawn the, the dog faced goblin. So yeah, very cool. And they were made by a company called Carnival. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to track down a tape player and play some tapes. Uh, obviously not from this one, I'm not opening this one, but um, play some tapes from... Uh... Oh, hold on. It says it on the back. Collect all the real Ghostbusters adventures. So uh, they also do Cab Cab uh, Cabinet of Calamari and Ghostbuster of the Year by the looks of it. So there's at least two more that I know of. And then got this, so uh, Ghostbusters number plate, uh, Ecto-1 license plate. This one was by Diamond Select Toys. I've got a few number plates. Um, I've got their convention exclusive one, which is the white version. It's just, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a number plate. I really, with this sort of stuff, it's about it's about the packaging more than anything else, because, um, you know, that's weird collectors. Um, Let's put that back in there, and then the last thing I have to show you is the uh, Revel 3D Puzzle of the Firehouse, which I didn't realise it actually comes with a little Ecto-1, because I know they do an Ecto-1 separately, um, and I assume they're both separate, but I'm, I'm assuming this is a smaller Ecto-1 to the... Uh, Ecto-1 they sell separately, so it's in scale with the Firehouse. Um, but yeah, it looks really cool. Um, Reminds me a little bit of the Playmobil one in areas. In fact, I think the original prototype looked almost identical to the uh, Playmobil version. Uh, but yeah, very cool. So, um, not sure if I'll build that. Not necessarily because I want to keep it in the box. Just don't have room to display it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's what it is. But yeah, that's a quick look at some of my Ghostbusters stuff that I've got for my birthday. So, very exciting week ahead. Um, so going to the uh, London premiere on Wednesday and then the film is released on Friday and then the weekend is just full of cinema gigs helping promote the film so very very exciting week anyway thanks for watching and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video until then keep on busting want to give a big shout out to the magic Ghostbuster Hey Darren, very, very impressive.